In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for COCl2 plus Na2CO3. This is cobalt 2 chloride. This is sodium carbonate. So the first thing we need to do when we write net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and it looks like all we need to do is put a 2 is our coefficient in front of the NaCl. So the molecular equation is balanced. Next, we need to write in the states for these substances. Chlorides are usually very soluble, so let's put an AQ after the chloride, and then sodium carbonate, that's also soluble, we know that. And then we have cobalt carbonate out here. It turns out that cobalt carbonate won't dissolve in water, it's insoluble, so you'd put an S after that. And then sodium chloride, sodium and chloride compounds, both very soluble, so put a little AQ after that. For the cobalt chloride, you'd probably either be told that it's insoluble or given a solubility table to look that one up. So let's see, we've got our states. Let's split the strong electrolytes into their ions for a complete ionic equation. So we need to write the charge for each of these up here so we know how to split them up. Chloride ions will be one minus, and because there's two of these, this cobalt, cobalt two has to be two plus. Sodium group one, so that has a one plus charge. Carbonate, always gonna be two minus, good one to remember. This is a solid, so we're not gonna split that up. It's actually a precipitate. It's fallen to the bottom of the test tube. So in our net ionic equations, we don't split the solids up, and then we have a positive and a negative. So now let's write these out. These with the aqueous, they're strong electrolytes. They'll dissociate completely in water. So our cobalt, we have CO2+, plus, and I won't write aqueous each time, plus we have our chloride ion, Cl-. minus. This two means we have two of them plus we have Na+, plus. and again we have that subscript there of two, so we have two sodium ions, and we have a carbonate, CO3, two minus. So those are the ions in the reactants. In the products, we said we don't split up solids, so we're gonna put CO, CO3, that's gonna to stay together, plus we have Na+, plus, that sodium ion, two of them. So we have two plus the chloride ion. And the two applies to everything, so we have two chloride ions. At this point, we have the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out things that show up on both sides. They're called spectator ions. So here I have two Cl minus on the reactants and in the products. So I'm cross that out. Sodium, I have two sodium ions in the reactants and two in the products. Cross those out. What's left make up the net ionic equation. So let me clean this up and add the states in, and we'll have the net ionic equation for COCl2 plus Na2CO3. So that's the net ionic equation for cobalt-2 chloride plus sodium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.